Hi, this is Dr. Cynthia Cote, and we're going to be working with a new client today who's come in to have some Juvederm placed in her lips. Can you tell me how you would like your lips to look? What would you like to change about them? Um, well, I feel like I have no upper lip, so <laughs> something to fix that, I guess. Okay. Um, I don't know. I kind of, what do you think? I think you have beautiful lips already. I think your lower lip could use a little bit more central mm -hmm. pout, just a little bit bigger, especially in the center. And I think the upper lip, you're right, the upper lip also needs to be bigger, but on this side a little bit more than mm -hmm. on the other side, because it's a little bit smaller on mm -hmm. this side than the other side. But the shape is awesome. The filtrum column is awesome. So there's not a lot of other work we need to do, just making it a little bit more symmetric and okay. a little bit more pouty. Yeah, sounds good. When you go to the dentist, is it easy for you to get numb at the dentist's office, or do they have to numb you multiple times during your procedure? Um, the only time I've had to be numbed, it was pretty easy. Okay. So it's only happened once. But. So for this injection, there's numbing medication in the syringe of Juvederm, but I usually also either have people do a dental block so they get mm -hmm. even more numb before I start, or a topical, um, mm -hmm. which you just kind of, we smear it all over and you just kind of sit there for an extra five or 10 minutes and it'll make mm -hmm. you real numb, or both. Which would you prefer? Um, maybe both. Maybe both, okay. Maybe. So we'll do that. <laughs> um, when we put this on, it's gonna be like the have milk mustache, but on the upper and the lower. Okay. It won't hurt you if you lick it or eat it, it just tastes nasty. Okay. Okay, okay. all good. All right, so we're gonna let that take for about five or 10 minutes and then we'll take that off and we'll do the dental block and then right after that, we'll go ahead and put the um, Juvederm in. Right. So as far as aftercare goes, your lips are probably gonna be swollen today, maybe even the next day. What you can do to kind of help bring down the swelling is take a wet and warm washcloth, mm -hmm. throw it in the microwave for about 30 seconds and just kind of hold that warm compress on the lips it'll probably suit it as well but that'll definitely help bring that swelling down over the next week or so there you might feel little bumps in there that's actually mm -hmm. the hyaluronic acid that's pulling water so don't be concerned if you feel any of those bumps in there they okay. should flatten out so <laughs> that's kind of the number one thing we get we're like oh it's a little bumpy uh -huh. so if it is a little bit within the next couple of days you can kind of just gently press on them and mm -hmm. kind of help smooth them out but you really don't need to do that if okay. you if you're like paranoid about it, you can, but <laughs> it's not going to be detrimental or anything like that. So, do you have any questions as far as aftercare goes? I don't think so. Morgan has some numbing cream on right now, and we're also going to do a dental block to make sure that she's super comfortable during. And what I was going to explain is that when we're doing the injection, you'll feel me kind of pushing and touching your lip, and I'm just checking where I've laid the product. And then at the end, I'll actually, you know, get my fingers inside your mouth and feel with both. And what I'm checking mm -hmm. for is to make sure there's no lumps or bumps when you leave. So it'll be perfectly smooth when you leave. And then if you feel a bump the next day, that's actually the product mm -hmm. pulling water a little unevenly. And so, you know, that happens sometimes more often what you're feeling if you feel a lump is the needle, when it goes in, draws mm -hmm. a lot of water just to that needle injury. So I'll try to poke you a few, as little time as possible mm -hmm. so you don't have as many of those needle lumps. Okay. How are your lips feeling? Are they feeling tingly? They're like pretty numb. Pretty numb? <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, we'll go ahead and move on to the dental block part. So we'll go ahead and take this part off and then we'll put more numbing on inside. So now we have some lidocaine to make her even more comfortable. We'll be injecting that in the gum line. So a little pinch. Yeah, mm -hmm. just four little injections. Make a little stinging with that and it'll get really numb. Okay. All right. Now you're going to feel like they're getting even better. <laughs> okay, so let's kind of test in a few places and see what it feels like. Okay, so just touching. What does that feel like? Mm, not much. Okay, how about over here? Mm, a little more pokey. It's a little bit more over there, yeah. Okay, and here? Mm, I can't really feel that. Okay, so I guess we'll wait on this area, give it a little bit more time, and then if it's not completely numb, we'll go back and numb it before okay. we work up there. Okay? So I'll okay. start with a little bit on the bottom. Pinch. So we're not doing a ton in the lower lip, but we did agree, the two of us, that um, she needs a little bit more central prominence, like a little bit more of a pout. When we get done with that, you'll be able to get anything you want. Okay, let's test this side again. What's that feel like? That's better. <laughs> better? Okay.
Okay, we're done. Lindsay, mm -hmm. um, let me reach behind me, behind you and give me a little of that gel. Okay, this is that part that I told you about. So this is um, some growth serum and arnica. It just helps seal the holes, prevent any bruises, and it gives me something to glide along with so I can just really feel. Feels really good and really even. Okay, so this is that warm compress again. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this is gonna help if you have any achiness or swelling that you feel like is uneven that you don't like later tonight, you can mm -hmm. just do this, okay? Mm -hmm. It also just feels better after we've been poking with needles <laughs> to have kind of a warm, soothing mm -hmm. uh, part of the treatment. Okay, awesome, okay, give her the mirror so she can pick it up. Here, I got it, actually. Mm -hmm. oh. mm -hmm. What do you think? What do you That's imagine? Good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so there's a little bit of swelling. The swelling will actually be, get bigger over tonight. Mm -hmm. And at some point you might even think, oh, too much, too mm -hmm. swollen, don't like it. Or you might say, I love it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you love it about four hours from now. We definitely didn't do enough because a lot of that is swelling. <laughs> this is really how they should look when we're, okay. all the swelling is out of it. Um, they'll swell a little bit more tonight. Tomorrow will be a lot better. Most of the swelling will be out of it. But mm -hmm. I really say that um, swelling goes, to a lesser extent, up and down a little bit for a week. Mm -hmm. So today the swing will be the biggest. Mm -hmm. And then tomorrow and the day after that you'll notice it less and less. But there's still okay. a little bit swelling, swollen for about a week. Okay? If you feel like there's anything you don't like about them, anything you're worried about, anything mm -hmm. that bothers you at all, we would rather hear from you than not hear from right. you. So mm -hmm. definitely call. Because most things we can handle over the phone, but if we think there's something we can't, we're going to ask you to come back in mm -hmm. so we can take care of it. Okay. All right? Mm -hmm. Awesome. I think Thank they you. look gorgeous. <laughs> that was doing Juvederm Lip Injections at MD Cote. You can come in at one of our two locations in the Puget Sound and have a free consult uh, with me about your lips or anything else that you'd like to change. Mm -hmm.